this video we're talking about how to draw nets for right rectangular prisms and in the first example we're going to draw the net for a cube and remember that a cube has equal length width and height so if we were going to label the length width and height here we could just say that they're all an equal side length s so the side length here would be s or the width would be s the length would be s and the height would be s so the length width and height of a cube are always equal and when we're talking about drawing a net for a figure like this one or for any three-dimensional figure the net is like the shape the piece of paper would have to be if you were going to fold that piece of paper into this hollow object so for this first example we'll just go ahead and reveal what that looks like the net for this cube is going to look like this and here's how you think about the net for a figure like this one so if we imagine this cube here i always think it's easiest to start with the bottom of the cube so if we think about the bottom of the cube it's this area right here right and we know that the bottom of the cube is a square because it has equal side lengths s so the length is equal to the width and this bottom is a square so if you think about the bottom is a square then you want to just go ahead and draw a square in your net to start the net for the figure so we would draw this square right here and these two would correlate with one another then you want to think about a face of the figure that's attached to the side you just drew. So if we think about the right side over here of the cube, we can see that it has width s and it also has height s. Of course, this is also going to be a square. So if we want to go ahead and add on this side of the figure to our net, they're attached to one another at this line right here. So they need to be attached in our net and we could go ahead and draw in the side which is also going to be a square and attach that to the net we've already drawn the other side as well the left side it's also attached to the bottom but on the opposite side right this right side is attached to this line over here the left side is attached at this line over here so we know that this side over here is going to need to be on the opposite side of our net and of course we know that it has width s and it also has height s in other words it's also a square so we want to go ahead and draw a square on the opposite side of our net like this and now these three sides we've already filled in account for the three sides that we've filled in here on our cube when it comes to then the back and the front of the cube, notice that they attach to the bottom on the other two sides of the bottom's square. So we need to attach two more squares to our net on these opposite sides here. So if I go ahead and shade in the back here, this back section, the back face of the cube attaches to the bottom along this back line right here, or in other words, it's going to be this part of our net and then if I want to do the front face of the cube it's going to be this front face here and that's of course on the opposite side of the square that I just added to our net so that's going to be this part of the net here and now I have the bottom and all four sides of the cube, I just need the top of the cube. And notice that the top of the cube could be attached to any four of the sides. We could attach it to this back line here, we could attach it to the left, we could attach it to the right, or we could attach it to the front. In this net, we've attached it to the right side face. And so if we just go ahead and say that the top is up here, and it is attached to the face on the right hand side, then we can go ahead and shade in the net down here to indicate that this is the top of the cube. So that's the idea. Of course, you wouldn't have this figure. You wouldn't just be able to shade in corresponding faces. You would need to build it from scratch. But that's how you sort of go about building the net from scratch. You deal with one face at a time. You figure out the shape of that face, whether it's a square, a rectangle. You can do this for other kinds of figures like cylinders or triangular prisms. So is it a circle? Is it a triangle? What's the shape? Go ahead and draw in the shape and then find an attaching face. Figure out the shape of that face and attach it to your net and just make sure you account for each of the faces. As a good double check, it's helpful to look at your three dimensional figure or think about your three dimensional figure and make sure you've accounted for all the faces. So if I count, for example, the bottom and the top, that's two faces, 
the left and the right, that's two more faces, and the front and the back, that's two more faces. So there's a total of six faces here, and I wanna make sure I've got six faces on my net. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I have six faces here as well, so I know I'm probably in good shape. So this is an example of the net for a cube. What about a right rectangular prism? So it's the exact same figure, except that the length, width, and height are not all equal. So for example, we might have a side length here of two, we might have a side length here of four, and a side length here of three. So in this case, if we look at the bottom here, we're gonna have a rectangle. The bottom is a rectangle that's two by four. So we know that we're going to need to start with a rectangle. And let's go ahead and reveal what our figure is going to be. We know we're going to need to start with a rectangle. Well, this is going to be the bottom of the right rectangular prism here. It's a rectangle. And if we were going to label its dimensions, we would say that it's 2 by 4 because the bottom of this right rectangular prism is 2 by 4. If I look at the left and the right hand sides, I can see that they're also going to be rectangles. This right hand face here is a rectangle because it's 4 by 3. Same thing with the left, it's also going to be 4 by 3. So I have rectangles there. So I could go ahead and add in rectangles for the left and right hand sides, and those would be these two rectangles here. Then for the back and the front face, I can see this front face here is 2 by the height 3. So I know this is also going to be a rectangle. Same thing with the back, it's 2 by 3. So I'm going to have rectangles again, and I just want to fit them into my net drawing like this. And I'm going to have my front face here. So we've got our faces. We have the bottom we have the left and right hand face and the front and back face, and now I just need the top. And just like with the cube, you could attach the top to any one of the side faces, but we're going to go ahead and attach it to the right hand side here. And basically, if you think about this back side here just folding up, the front side here folding up, the left hand face folding up, and the right hand face folding up to create the four sides, and then this top comes all the way over from this side to fold over to become the top, then this is now the top of the right rectangular prism. So again, you can do this with any kind of prism, but these are just examples for how to do them with right rectangular prisms, including the special case of a cubic prism.